Hello everyone, it's Soriana and today I wanted to do a tutorial on how to remove a background of a picture. So I'm gonna be using three Adobe programs which are Illustrator, Photoshop and InDesign. If you want to watch the tutorial then escape all the way to it because I'm gonna be talking about the difference between these programs. It's gonna be super quick so if you want to stay then awesome. Now I'm telling you, you can use any of these three programs to remove the background but I do recommend using Photoshop because it's not only quicker but Photoshop is for pictures it's strictly for pictures and InDesign I mean you can do that in InDesign totally but they don't provide as much tools as Photoshop does and uh, Illustrator Illustrator is perfect for everything that has to do with pictures and even uh, paths and I don't know if that's what it's called but Illustrator is amazing for a lot of things, but I don't recommend doing anything that has to do with text in um, Illustrator because, um, again, the tools are not as great as, for example, InDesign. In InDesign, they give you a lot of things to do with the text and paragraphs and styles and stuff like that, and Illustrator doesn't. It's very limited. So when it comes to text, think InDesign, and when it comes to pictures, think Photoshop. Illustrator, you can... Um, I don't know, it's great either ways. So, okay, let's get to the tutorial. Now what you wanna do is go to File, Place, and select the picture you wanna use. Now I have a picture of these marshmallows. The marshmallow I wanna cut out is this one. So what you wanna do now is Command minus just to reduce the size of the page and so that you can resize this picture. While you are on it, uh, press Shift and then resize it because that's gonna happen if you don't press shift. Good, okay. Now, make sure you press shift and resize. Now, zoom in again with command plus. And let's resize a little bigger so we don't have any troubles. Okay, so now that it's done, what you wanna do is press the letter P on your keyboard and then go ahead and draw around this marshmallow. You want to make sure this part right here has a uh, color, especially because my picture is dark, I'm going to use the color white. But if your picture is lighter, you can use darker colors or honestly, whatever color you want. It's not going to affect it at the end. So, okay, you want to draw around it like so. Um, before finishing, make sure these two ends are put together because if they're not, it's not going to work. Now go and put them together and ta-da! Okay, so now what you want to do, again, zoom out with command mi minus. And now you want to select the whole thing, including the, the square you just draw, and then right-click on it and select Make Clipping Mask, and ta-da! You deleted the background and we got our marshmallow. To put a picture on any sign, you have to go to this um, tool which is called rectangle frame tool and you're gonna press on it and then again use shift to create or actually don't because we are doing a rectangle so just create the rectangle the size you think the picture is because honestly I don't know what size the original picture is so once the thing is there you want to go to file and place exactly like we did on illustrator Okay, so find the picture you are gonna use. And okay, so it's gonna open that way. What you wanna do is go right over here where it says fill frame proportionally, and you're gonna click there and it happens. Okay, so you don't really have to resize it here, I think. Wait. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention when you resize these pictures on InDesign, you don't only use Shift to resize it, but Shift, Command, and then you go ahead and make it bigger. Uh, what you want to do is Command Plus to zoom in. And again, press the letter P on your keyboard, and we are gonna draw around it the same way we did in Illustrator. Now, don't forget Shift C. We use Shift C to do curves and we are gonna change the color just because I don't want to use black on an already dark picture. Oh, it moved from them here. Okay, so once we got it, I know it's really wrong. So command minus to zoom out and 
This time you are gonna have to click on the picture you draw, right, right click on it and then go to a ranch and send to the back. Now once you do that, click out and then select the whole thing. So that way the marshmallow you want and the picture is selected. Now what you want to do is go to window and object and layout, 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 I always say that wrong, whatever. Go to Pathfinder and this little window is going to open. Now what you want to do is click the third tool which is called intersect and this happens. So there you go, you deleted another background on another program. Okay, so last but not least, we have Photoshop. Now what you want to do is go to File and go to Open and find the picture you want to use again. And okay, so before starting, usually people use layers, which are the new pages you add here, these things. But um, I don't because I am mostly new to um, Photoshop, so I really don't know how to work with layers and I get so confused, I hate it. But um, this thing we're doing is pretty simple. I honestly don't think you need layers for this one. But um, yeah, so what you want to do is go to this tool right here, which is called the Quick Selection Tool, or press W in your um, keyboard, and make sure you have uh, the Add to Selection Tool um, pressed, because um, if you have this one, it's really not going to work for anything. So zoom in, command command plus or control plus if you're in a PC and what you want to do is basically select the whole marshmallow and that is gonna happen now if you notice we have a little part right here that we don't want so that that is when the subtract tool is gonna work you're gonna click on it and then remove all the part you didn't want and I remove a little too much so there we go now what you want to do is press command C or control C and then command B or control V and there you have it. Now go to the background layer and close the eye. And there you go. This is gonna happen. Okay, you guys, that was it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see another tutorial in the future, let me know what else you want to see in the comment section below. And um, I'm sorry if this video was so long, but it's what it was because I was working on three programs. But make sure you uh, tell me what program you want to see me doing a tutorial in and what do you want to see me doing. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys, bye!